Hi folks, now this video is all about how you can use Right Booth to control your 360 spinner motor or in fact any motor that's connected to the PC. Now before I start and explain how to do all this, I just want to do a big shout out to Mike Ridge who has basically given me all the equipment needed to allow me to put this demonstration together. So thanks a lot Mike. So what you're going to need is some equipment some wiring, you're also going to need to modify right booth in a certain way. So to start off, I will switch to a GoPro camera and show you the equipment that I've got here. So let's go. Okay, let's take a look at this amazing equipment that Mike has put together for me. Now what we have here is a prototype spinner. Now I don't actually own a spinner because A, they're too expensive and B, they're far too expensive. So Mike has actually put together this little spinner with my helper sat on the top. There's a motor under there which you probably can't see. There's an arm to hold a GoPro and obviously my helper is on the top. Now the motor itself has got a cable coming out of it and that feeds into this box of tricks here. Now this box allows me to turn the motor on and off and to change the direction and the speed with these two buttons and this dial. Now this box of tricks is powered by a 12 volt DC power supply which is just plugged into the mains here. So let's take the control box and just rest it on my knee. Let's push the green button. Notice the arm goes round clockwise. Push the red button. It returns back the other way and there is a dial in the middle to control the speed. Pretty cool, eh? Now, the point about all this is that we can connect this control box up to the PC and right boot can control the motor. just show you the cable here. So here's a USB cable coming out of the box and we're going to plug the other end into the laptop. Right, the next job here for me is to explain what's inside this box, how it's put together and how you can create a control box for yourself. Okay, so we're back in Right Booth, but before I explain how to make the changes in Right Booth to control the spinner motor, Let's take a look at the diagram for the controller box. Now I've drawn it down here. Let's just put this out of the way for a minute. So what we've got here, we have two items inside the control box. This item is a USB HID relay board and that can be purchased from eBay. Here's a link to it. So that's what this is. And that allows you to turn switches on and off. Also inside the control box, we have the DC motor controller. Now this is a thing that allows you to send forward and reverse instructions from right booth to the spinner motor. Now that device is this item here. Now both these QR codes take you directly to the links where these items were purchased. And here we've got the wiring for this. So inside the box we wire the forward and reverse switches up to the two switches on the USB HID relay board. The relay board itself is connected via a USB cable to your PC or laptop. And the inputs to the motor controller come from the 12 volt DC power supply and the outputs of the motor controller go to your 360 spinner motor. Okay, let's take a look at how you can control the motor from within right booth. Now I'm actually running two copies of right booth here to, to show this. So in the first copy, I'm going to go into settings 
and look in start stop. Now on the second copy I've actually got the live camera view showing the spinner. Let me switch back to the first copy. So in settings you will see that because I've got the controller board connected to the PC via a USB cable that right booth has detected the board and it's called Hurt M. I've turned on the control option in right booth so that I can send commands to the board. And in this text box, I can enter commands. Now a zero means that the switch is turned off and a one means that the switch is turned on. Now in our controller box, we have a two channel switch relay. So I'm only using the first switch on that two channel relay to turn the motor on and off. So by putting a one in here, I can set the motor going. Let's just test that. And if I set that back to zero, I can stop it. Let's just put zero in there, test again, and you can see it's stopped. Now if I wanted to do, I could actually reverse the direction by setting this first switch to one. Let's test that. And it's going back the other way. Set that back to zero, press test, and I can stop it again. So that's the way in which we are going to be sending commands to the relay board to turn the motor on and off. So let's have a look at how you put all that into practice in your actual recording event. Okay, we're back in right booth. I've changed the position of the webcam so that you can watch what happens on the spinner. I've attached the GoPro to the arm on the spinner. So in this event, I've got a start screen, a get ready screen, record video for five seconds off the GoPro, and then I show the video. So what I'm going to do is on the get ready screen, I'm going to turn on the motor. And to do that, I need to have an action and it's a show action. And the action is set relay channels. Now, if you remember, we need to change the values of the two switches. Now I can leave switch two alone and set switch one to one. So that will be zero, one. That will turn on the first switch and will set the motor spinning. Then what will happen is after two seconds, we'll get five seconds of recording from the GoPro while the arm is spinning. Then it will show the video after the processing time. Now, what happens is that once the video has been received by Rightboot, this busy screen is being shown. So what we need to do on the busy screen is to turn off the switches. So let's do that with another <coughs> relay channel command. And here I want to enter 00, zero to turn the switches off. And that's all there is to it. So basically on the busy screen, we are turning the relay off. And on the get ready screen, we are turning the relay on. So let's have a look at how this works in practice. I'll play the event. We're on the start screen now. And as soon as I click the mouse, we'll move on to the get ready screen and the motor will start turning. Let's do that. The motor is spinning. Two seconds later, we are now recording for five seconds. So the GoPro is recording. It's now processing. The video is coming across over the Wi-Fi and right booth is applying enhancements and notice that the spinner has stopped. We now move on to the show video screen. And we're back to the start screen. And that's all there is to it really. So hopefully there's enough information in this video to get you started on designing your own control box and using Rightbooth to send commands to the USB HID controller 
in the control box so that you can start and stop your 360 spinner motor. Thanks for watching.